All right, guys, real quick before we get into the video, I just want to let you know on my web store, beweirdshop.com, we are doing a Flash Friday sale. It's going to be up for the next 24 hours. So if you guys wanted to grab something, but you didn't yet, now's a good time. We've got the sale running for the next 24 hours. So enjoy the video. We're going over the van build, and uh, yeah, get in the video. Oh, yeah. No, that's not coming out just yet. Oh, hell yes, dude. Okay, so we got freaking carpets right here to wrap the second seat. And right here, I think we got our new radio. Not too sure, though. And grab one of our knives. You guys already know, best knives in the game. Kershaw. Maybe this is the carpets. Yeah, this is the carpets. Then what the hell is in this box? No way. I did not expect it to be this big. Oh. Damn. This is way more legit than I thought. Holy. We are going to be bumping. Got this little bad boy. So this is what I was curious about. I need to see before we go to Trey's. Trey's doing some dentist stuff today. But I'd like to try to figure this out pretty quick on my own. All right. So I have to see how this gets all wired up. This is some sort of plug and play wire set that I'm assuming would go into your car. And then these are the wires for the speakers that would go somewhere else. But I don't necessarily need those. I need to make sure that I can just get this thing powered to turn it on, which is what I think I can do. DB, what are you doing? No. No. Let me chew my box. No, that's what she said. Alright, so we got all the speaker stuff right there. Got the actual stereo right there. And we got a wild Melvin. Good to see you, big man. Dax out here chilling in the bed right now. Whole freaking squad's out here. But I'm gonna try to wire this up and see if power can get to this thing first. And then I'm gonna focus on figuring out how to wire those up. Those are just positive and negative wires. And I have a feeling that they each hook up to these somehow right here. But I don't really know yet. I'm gonna read the user's manual, kind of troubleshoot for a little bit, and then I'll check back in with you guys once I get this kind of figured out. All right, so we just faced a little bit of difficulties, but I actually figured out. I almost caved in, gave up, and called a friend, but I was like, no, I need to figure this out on my own because it's something good to learn, and I did it. So check it out. Originally, when I turned this thing on, it would just stay on, and I was like, oh, it doesn't work, and then I figured out there's an accessory wire, so it basically powers it off, so watch. When I turn the car to the on switch using the ignition, it'll power up the Pioneer. But watch, when I turn the ignition switch off, before it wouldn't turn off, and now it does. So there you go. Before it just kind of stayed running, which is what you don't want to have happen. So now that I've done this, it's dialed. We got to make something for it to like kind of sit in here. This whole dash just kind of need to get figured out. But now that I have this hooked up, all I have to do now is get the speakers like somewhat wired, tuck all that in there, figure out where I'm going to run the speaker wires out from and uh, where we're going to mount the speakers. We're thinking each door and then possibly, uh, the back doors over there, I don't really know yet. That is to be figured out. But now we have something that actually works, and I'm pretty psyched about it. So try to keep keep on truck and see if we can't get some noise come out of these. Oh man, we're cutting again. Trey right now is cutting some speaker holes. I'm getting the wiring done right now. We're doing two skull crushers right here. It's gonna blow your brains out. And then we're gonna do a two back there in the front of the bed. I'm gonna try to wire these up, and if I can make some noise happen today, I would absolutely be mind blown, like be super, super stoked. So we're gonna get going on this right now, try to see how far we can go. Uh, we definitely, neither one of us have ever done any type of speaker installation in our entire lives, so this is a new thing once again. Moment of truth, boys. Gotta film it. Gotta have a good song on for this. Connected, all right. <laughs> Next thing I gotta do is build the box for this to put the actual radio in. So right now, Trey and his crafty self is doing that.
Get his ass, Dax. Get him. Get him. Those speakers look real good up there right now. It's kind of hard to see, but they look great. The back is what we're trying to do right now, and it's getting a little bit crazy. We're figuring it out, though. All right, so real quick, I realize I haven't gave you guys like a real good overview of what we've done in the van so far. So I'm going to take this time right now to do that. And basically, we're going to start from the back and work our way all the way up to the front so you guys can see all the features and all the stuff that we've added since the beginning of these van builds. Uh, if you guys are following along on this channel, um, we have some earlier videos from like day one and day two of this thing completely gutted out. So if you guys want to go back on the channel, one, subscribe, and go back and check those videos out, that'd be greatly appreciated. But let's get into it. So in the back, this used to be all completely gutted out, and we made these panels right here, and we wrapped it in this red crushed velvet, and we put both of them on each side. So basically, it's, I don't know what you call those or what they were, but um, they're just to cover the back of the door to make it look good, because behind these doors, they have like all the handle components. We got the spare tire underneath here. This is the undercarriage of the bed. That's the AC unit for the back. That's where one of the vents comes out right there. We kind of hooked that up. Here's some curtains to block out the sun if you guys are sleeping in here or whatnot. We got ourselves the bed, another set of curtains over there. And then if you guys can see, we trimmed out that whole back section. So I know in the other videos, it was a gap and you guys could see it. So that's what it did look like over on this side and that's what it looks like now. So we had to do that one last one right there and then it'll look all good. But we got the lights run across the front right there, the LEDs, can't turn them on right now. Trey's phone's hooked up to him right now, so I'm not gonna bother him, he's talking to his dad. But we fixed the doors so they close nice and good now. Everything works great. Then coming over here, when we first got the van, we realized that there was some like rain issues. So we retrimmed all the doors. So it made it waterproof. We redid the panel on this side. We still have to do this one on this side, but this one's a little bit more complicated because we got to make one from scratch, pat it out ourselves and like that, and then wrap it in the crushed velvet. I fixed this door, fixed the window. When we first got the van, the window did not go up and it did not go down. He had like pens shoved inside here to hold it up. I redid the motor mechanism in there, fixed the track that was in there, redid the door handle, made it so it was super sturdy so you could pull on it super hard now. This door handle did work, so I didn't have to do anything with that, but now this whole door functions and works just as it should. They all shut good now because we fixed the uh, strikers. Coming in here, we went and purchased a uh, cabinet from a Goodwill around our area. Try to find something kind of old school to fit the uh, vibe of the van. And uh, actually Trey had most of the doing on that because I'm not really good at the whole interior decorative design. He got that mirror up there, that's pretty cool. Got the curtain rods with the uh, cheetah print stuff on there. Then Trey did that curtain right there, which came out super, super awesome. Wanted to get something like this to make it look kind of old school, and it did. He was gonna make it himself, but we ended up finding this one online that we could do. Got the speakers installed in there. It's a little dirty in here right now. We gotta kind of clean everything up, but I just wanna kind of update you guys on what we've been doing so far. As you know, we got the speakers up in the front. We gotta take out that switch panel because it no longer works, and we're gonna cover it up with something cool. Maybe a disco ball, maybe some fuzzy dice. And now the stuff that I'm super stoked on is the front end of the vehicle because that's what we were most stressed about. We finally figured it out, and it works, and everything's good. Got both seats covered, they look awesome. And then this stuff already came like this, so the dash is all dialed, the steering wheel is dialed. We got all this done. I gotta tuck these wires up right here, put the carpet back over, and kinda like fasten that all down to hide everything. We got the stereo working. Trey built that pretty crazy like wooden feature that has a cigarette lighter inside of it. And now we're trying to figure out if we wanna use this dog box cover or not. We wanna wrap it, try to find a new one, create something new. I'm not really too sure yet, but. Everything's coming together pretty good, and I fixed this door, so now this door handle works to open the door, so you don't gotta roll down the window anymore, and then open it from the other side. It's been a pretty crazy process, but it's been a lot of fun. We've learned a ton. We never knew how to do carpet stuff, we never knew how to do upholstery stuff, we never knew how to do wiring for the radio stuff, never had to cut speakers, so we've learned so much for this van build, and uh, we are definitely going to be listing this thing up for sale and we're definitely going to be selling this bad boy We're trying to do like kind of our first flip job and who knows we are probably gonna to try to get another one too And just kind of have some fun with these we got a lot of cool ideas And I feel like this one came out exactly how we wanted it to so who knows what the next one will be All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video Remember hit the web store flash sale live on beweirdshop.com link in the description down below every Monday Wednesday and Friday We post at 3 p.m. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Our goal is to try to get to 120. We're pushing. We're almost at 116 right now. We're like right there. Tell your friends, families, mothers, freaking uncles, aunts, goldfish, dogs, daughters, whatever the hell you got. Subscribe to this damn YouTube channel. Let's keep it going up. All right, I'm out.